Part 11. Large Format Stones Installation of large format manufactured stone veneer units require a few key differences. This addendum is intended to be used in concert with the standard NCMA installation guide available at www.ncma.org. All wall preparation requirements, material requirements, cautions, disclaimers, and general information should be reviewed and followed. A large stone unit is defined by NCMA as a stone with greater than one square foot area, or one dimension 24 inches or greater that requires additional skill and attention. Large format stone units provide the installer with a couple challenges related to wall preparation and setting the units. These units can be more challenging to install than conventional units. Proper bonding materials and techniques are essential. A key to good bond is achieving a full setting bed of quality mortar with ample squeeze-out. Larger format stone units tend to telegraph any irregularities in the wall or scratch coat through to the finished surface. Take time to make sure the scratch coat is level, plumb, and straight, adding a second coat if required. Alternatively, install cement board as a replacement for lath and scratch coat. The cement board method may appear to add cost, but the advantages of this planar surface will increase install speed and improve the final appearance. Make sure to use modified mortar when installing over cement board. The NCMA MSV installation guide recommends any large format stone should be installed using modified mortar. Modified mortar meeting ANSI A118.4 or 118.15 mortar provides four characteristics that aid in the installation of large format units. 1. Increased bond strength. 2. Increased flexibility compared to standard mortar. 3. Minimal sag slip. 4. Ability to reposition a unit for up to five minutes after setting it. If using a building code minimum mortar such as ASTM C270 Type N or Type S, any disturbed unit must be removed and reset. No repositioning is allowed after setting. Modified mortars, when used as setting bed, will typically be applied to a prepared surface by notched trowel in vertical ribbons. In addition, the units are back buttered and then pressed into the ribbons with a back and forth sliding motion. This minimizes sag and increases initial grab. Extra care should be taken to avoid mortar droppings and smears, as modified mortar is difficult to remove. You may choose to apply a silane siloxane repellent to the stone face prior to installation. This will simplify the job of removing mortar staining on the stone's exposed face. Do not apply a repellent to the bonding surface. Many of these large format stones are laid with a mortar joint. While a joint can be as small as 3 16ths of an inch, that dimension is difficult to completely fill with mortar. For that reason, consider a larger 3 8 inch minimum joint gap. To maintain uniform mortar joint gap during installation and curing, spacers are often used. Add spacers for all four sides during install. After curing, use caution when removing spacers, ensuring not to disturb the bonded units. Soaking wooden dowel stock in advance will make the dowel smaller and easier to remove when dry. Hard, wedge-shaped shims should be avoided. Thank you for watching. Please view the other videos in this series for additional installation techniques and tips.